All right, John. Ready? Yeah. Sam. Good job. Thunder. You know the neighbors are gonna come up and be like, is that a bomb? <laughs> Well, today, this morning, it's Friday, and uh, I'm done working for the week, which means I get to work here at the house. So, me and the boys are, uh, we're gonna add to our chicken coop. We're gonna build a whole nother room at a block for our chicken coop. Is that Queenie? What are you doing, you pregnant one? So the boys are getting everything ready. They're stocking up everything and getting the mixer over there. Kinda getting things prepped. Got my truck over there with my tools. Well, we got a mess down here. They got some hay. Made a mess. Let me see the chickens. So what do we have here? We got a little mama down there, she's laying. Oh, she's laying on those eggs, huh? Where is she? Right there. Is she down there? All right. So she's laying on those, then we got another mama here, she's laying on these. Now these we bought, so these chicks we bought, y'all saw them in a few videos back, and they're getting big, look at them, man, they're huge. Can we hold one? Not right this second, but, so, so, so this is partly the reason why we're building this coop right here. We need to make a bigger coop. It's a three-tier deal. What are you doing, bud? You found the tractor again. You always seem to be on the tractor every time I see you. Yeah, are you driving? No. Flipping switches? I, got, got keys. I don't have your keys. So the real re like the reason we're doing this is uh, it's not well. You always need space. You always need kind of a uh, an area to put an animal or maybe some nannies and goats or chickens or whatever. But the way we have it now is. Um, the problem is, is you get these adolescents in there and you throw them in there with these full grown hens and they get pecked to death and beat up. So we have that for the babies. We're gonna try to maybe make this for the adolescents. And then this one right here will probably be for the, for the hens. So, uh, you know, they can grow in size and we can do multiple batches at a time. Um, and then if we, you know, if we have a bunch of hens and we don't have any chicks, then we can put them all in one group, one area, and we can use the other for like, sometimes we'll have some goats kid out and uh, they're not doing too good and we gotta watch them. It'd be nice to have a little caged area uh, to go nurse them back to the hill. So, so anyway, uh, we're gonna keep, keep going, trucking along. At the same time, I've got some people coming to my house fixing my garage doors and so my mom's there with some of the other boys and they're cleaning up, so. Okay, well today, we finally get our garage doors fixed because they've been broken and um, dented and they don't go up, you know, when you push the button and, and like some of the buttons are even gone, so. But we have the task of like actually have to get the garage door guys into our garage <laughs> because, you know, I don't know if your garage looks this way, but ours is, um, it, we don't keep cars in it, so <laughs> it's it's a gym slash shop um and yeah we um i mean it's like a, a monthly quarterly which i do quarterly uh clean out the whole garage and make it you know workable it's just so easy to come and just throw something in here and walk out so we have to make it to where these guys can get in here and so i have my helpers as you can see they are <laughs> I have the girls, and I'm waiting on two boys, 
And we're gonna get this kind of um, pushed out, I guess, so they can get in here. They're here! I have these two and them three. <laughs> to clean, ready? Okay, everyone, witness, uh, it's a broken, dead TV. Okay, hold on, Louie, don't we want- need, We need it together as we can. We're gonna throw it off the- We're gonna throw it off sky the- Skytrack. A Skytrack, so yay. Um, so it sits here, blocking my weights um, as we wait to go drop it off of a sky track. Who does that? I mean, okay. Honestly, I don't think this is going to be a before and after um, video because I don't think we're doing this today. We're just going to push it out, let the guys come in, and uh, maybe organize a smidge and then um, put it back. And reorganize another day. I don't really want to do this today. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Me and Sam and Ben out here working right now. Ben, uh, Matt, and John are with Mama and the girls, and they're cleaning out the garage. So I don't know. I hope they're having a good time. I know we're having a blast. Because there's, if there's anything that a bricklayer wants to do on the weekends, it's play brick and block. Oh yeah. You know the old saying, right? Electricians, uh, electricals not working, or plumbing's plumbing's not finished at his own house. Same thing here with masons, block layers. Yeah. There's always something. So this is actually a big feat for us to put the time and effort and energy into it and uh, try to do it, we'll do it probably in two days. So, we pushed real hard, we could do it maybe in one day, but that's, that's, what's the fun of that? You know, gotta kinda enjoy a little bit of it, right? So. So uh, now we're starting act the actual wall. We've done the layout. That's the first course all the way around. You're, you're arranging corner to corner, making sure everything's straight. Because sometimes the footer's not straight. Whoever poured this footer, we had a guy come in and pour this footer. I can't remember who it was, but uh, kind of has a bow in it and then a hump in it. So we had to work that out in the first course. Call that layout. And then we built the leads, which is still part of layout, which I'm doing right now. And then. Uh, we just uh, drop a line and lay to it. It's pretty simple. So, we do all the time. I'm gonna drink my lemonade and get back to it. What'd you do? Oh, yeah, pull back. Uh, it's a slinky. It's a slinky. Go farther. Go farther. Keep going. Keep going. Well, it's breaking. No. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. Now let go. Help me. Oh, wow. missed it. Well, we we did it. We did it. We it's it's okay. That was a fast little process. Kind of just pushed stuff up, cleaned up a little bit, and uh, it's time to go take a snack to the guys out there. What time is it? That's anyway. It's time to go take a snack to the guys out there, and um, go go gadget arm. Some goodies. About to. Oh, we, we, how long till lunch? What do you think? Whenever y'all ready. Whenever y'all can take a break. Okay. Interesting fact about all this is that I don't know if you're new to our channel, you, you, you may not have seen the video, but about a year, year and a half ago, we had a video come out where I had neck surgery, and uh, I had neck surgery because of in my cervical spine I had to have some vertebrae fixed. 
and I was losing the left side of my body, which is my block side. So I had my trowel hand and my block hand, and my block hand was getting weak. I couldn't even hardly lift the block, and I couldn't figure it out. Well, it was crimping my nerves, and I was losing strength. So I've had it fixed a year and a half later. So this is great for me to be able to get out here and actually be able to lift it. I'm getting my strength back. I'm getting my feeling nerves. My hand would shake real bad. It still shakes every once in a while, but um, that's nerve damage, you know. But it's pretty cool. So if y'all, if, you, if you've never seen that video, it's pretty interesting. Uh, but even more so, what do you think, babe? Is But even more interesting than that video, the, the next surgery video is the uh, the one before it. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I shaved my beard. So, shaved my beard off, and that is the funniest video we have ever made. Uh -huh. I personally think so. So, <laughs> y'all want to laugh? It's it's pretty terrible. <laughs> it's a pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I have an empty uh, cream soda. And we're gonna crush the can. Yeah, the bottom of the oh. Oh. Oh, oh, Start wrapping up everything. We're gonna. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> trust me. All right. Can't see it from my house. I'll wait. You can. So the goal here is we put these. Sashes, you see the sash right there? It's a sash and a block, and so we just lined up the sashes right down them. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a piece of wood, slide it up and down, a lot like this door. You see that door right there? So you just slide it up and down, put the latch on it, and it works perfectly. So it's a little, it's a little door just big enough for chickens to get in and keep a lot of the varmints out. So. Well, we're gonna wrap it up for the day. I'm tired. Boys are tired. And uh, we might work on this a little bit more tomorrow. We'll see. We don't really have enough block to finish. For some reason, they didn't deliver all the block, but that's okay. Rome wasn't built in a day. And neither was our chicken coop. So today we are gonna day two laying up the block chicken coop and uh, today my father-in-law is working with us and uh, it's really neat. He's Master Mason. And he's third generation. My boys will be fifth generation and they get to lay block with him and work with him and see what that's like. So it's really it's a good thing. There's very few pictures of those old time bricklayers. And you know, my father-in-law is in his 60s, but like his dad was the second generation, his grandpa was first generation. So you're going way back, right, with the lineage. But but they didn't have video, they didn't have pictures. I think we have like one picture of Papa laying brick. Maybe, maybe two, but this is good for him to have some video of him working with him. All right, Matt, you want to make concrete? Start making concrete. Let's fire up the mixer here.
Oh yeah, we are filled, so... Okay. Why is the mud different color? Well, it's because I went and got just some, some mud that we had left over at the yard. And uh, this is a personal project, right? So we just go get what we have, make it work. Because we're going to paint it anyway. It's all going to be red. So, um, mud color doesn't matter in this situation. So the strength matters, but that's not the color. Jed home. Say hi, Jeddy. And we are home just getting everyone's lunch ready because they're going to be coming here pretty soon and they're going to be really hungry. So, But it's and nice and overcast. And Poppy. Yeah, and Poppy's coming. And Poppy's coming. So and I, Gigi. And Gigi's coming. <laughs> anyway, so they're going to come and it's nice and overcast outside. So hopefully we can eat in the treehouse. Everyone's wanting to eat in the treehouse. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm just here cutting up the watermelon right now. It's just delicious. So um, we've been eating lots of watermelon and um, see what other goodies we have. And here they come. Well, we just finished lunch, a uh, quick lunch at the treehouse with Gigi and Poppy, and now we're going to get back to work. We've got to move a scaffold around and then do this long wall, and then we might call it a day. We'll see. Wrapping up the day in this smoking hot chick driving a 15 passenger shows up. How are y'all doing? Glad special. He did. You're such a beast of a woman. What is this? Tell me what it is. It is um, a Diet Dr. Pepper with an uh, extra vanilla drink. Alright. What do you have? Cherry lime, slush. slush. And I got the boys and puppy a drink too. All right. Well, I'll drink theirs. Theirs is regular Dr. Pepper, vanilla drink. And uh, I got puppy a cherry lime. 
good. Got concrete all over me. And nothing like a vanilla cream dye Dr. Pepper with extra vanilla cream. Easy ice from Sonic. That solves all my problems. Well, I'm wrapping it up for the day. Day two. Building the chicken coop. It's in the books. And uh, probably going to finish. Got a holiday coming up Monday, so we're going to probably work Monday. Try to get all the block done. Get ready. Uh, we got a welder coming out, do some welding. And then we're going to put a roof on and electrical. And... I'm tired. <laughs> How are you doing? Hey. Looking good. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Meal Looking prep this week. We are. Got a little. What? Dusty. My dusty? A little concrete in the beard? Yes. What do you think about that? You like that? Yes. You like that? Yeah? What's up? How are you doing? How many 16 year olds do you know read the newspaper? It's very funny. <laughs> the, the Buffalo Gap newspaper. The greatest newspaper in the history of Buffalo Gap. <laughs> no, the history of ever. It's absolutely amazing. If you ever get a chance. Maybe. <laughs> For those who don't know what Alexa listening to any of your conversations, they're making a male version and it doesn't listen to anything. <laughs> <laughs> Well, back at church. Yes. First week back at church. Something that you don't take for granted. You don't want to take it. All families are separated by six feet. <laughs> no hugging. See? Don't I, shake I, hands. I hug the preacher's wife, you know? <laughs> Poor lady. You know, everybody wants to give them a hug. You know, they're like, so bad for them. I mean, good for them, but, you know, it's awkward. It would be weirder back live but man it's been such a blessing all three services so appreciate you guys coming and I welcome those of you in our live stream as well man appreciate you guys tuning in give us a comment let us know you're out there and uh, man it's good well it's day three working on the chicken coop today we should finish it we got rain coming in about two or three hours, so we gotta finish it. Look at that. Yeah! Almost a full bucket of concrete. You're stud, buddy. You know how heavy a full bucket of concrete is? <laughs> it's heavy. It's awesome. Wheel plates were to hold the sea, sea purlin down for the roof. Well, this is a great experience for our boys. They're used to working hard, they're used to this kind of work, but it's neat for them to work with their grandpa. Spend time with him. You can see how his work ethic is. Better watch out, get out the way. <laughs> Good stud, John. Red. What? Red. Fiery. I'm gonna wrap this up and go have lunch. Probably come back, clean everything up. So. 
last plug. And you're in. So. There you go. Ah. I made it the wrong way though. <laughs> no, it's cut, yeah, it's cut. It's, it's cut the wrong way. <laughs> Well, we got it done. All together, it took us roughly, if you add it all up, about a day, two and a half days. Two and a half days, roughly. And we, we modeled it so that one side is equal to the other side. It looks just like the other side. So that they kind of look the same. One's much bigger than the other. This one's 10 by 10. And uh, this one over here is gonna be 10 by 20, much bigger chicken coop so this way we can do them on all different phases and ages we have more room and we thought about maybe eventually it coming all the way across here and uh, sealing the whole thing off so now we have an even bigger area but uh, uh, we'll see we'll see what happens right now we just want to go have lunch it's a beautiful day it's uh, overcast and uh, now we just got to paint it, put a roof on it, and run some electrical to it. So, block work, that's our world. We'll probably do most of the other stuff as well. We got a welder coming this weekend. He's going to help us. And uh, just do some welding. Use our welder to weld it up for us, and we'll probably put the sheets on. And then uh, just run surface mount electrical. So, anyway. So we ate at our house last last time, and today we eat at Gigi and Poppy's house. Which means good food, that's what I'm saying. Plus it's a holiday, so we get to celebrate the holiday together, and then this afternoon we get to rest. Probably watch a movie or two and, and uh, dwell and think about those people who've laid down their lives for us, for our freedom, Memorial Day. And um, I don't know. I don't know, I kind of got a hankering for uh, Sergeant York. Yeah, it's a great show. Or maybe uh, Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw Ridge is a bit over the top for all my kids, um, my little girls. So, and they're gonna be up, so I gotta find something that they can watch as well, so. Sergeant York, it is. That's what we're gonna watch. The original, the only movie. Now my son, Jetty, he's waiting for me. He's been waiting to eat. What? You ready to eat? No, John's got the tractor? Yep, John's over with the tractor. Matt's got the ski steer. Matt's got the ski steer? Yeah. Well, what about you? What are you driving? No, I'm the ski steer. You're going to drive the ski steer? Where, you, where are you going? I can't my a little bit. Where are you going? I'm going to get my ski steer a little bit. You're going to get your ski steer in a little bit? You're gonna go get your skid steering a little bit? You're amazing. Well, let's go eat. Are you hungry? No. no. So I got this. So Matt's on the skid steer. We got this TV, older flat screen. That's not very flat, is it? That's an older. Why? Matt said he's gonna clean it up. So Matt wants to run over it. You want to run over it? Hold on. How, hey, how, how heavy is this? 10,000 pounds? 8,000 pounds, something like that? It's heavy. Let's see what happens. Get it. Now go backwards. Ha 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 ha!